Mr Speaker, I think the first and most important point to make is that this is a declaration based on science. Oh, right. The United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the preeminent scientific body in the world on this matter, has determined that in order to avoid a situation, a disastrous 1.5 degrees Celsius rise in global temperatures and beyond, a rise that would see increased risk to human health and livelihood, civil unrest, mass drought, mass disease, loss of lands and homes, increased fires, increased tropical storms, mass human displacement and globally exhausted resources, then we must act with urgency, Mr Speaker, to ensure global emissions fall to net zero by 2050. Yes. Yes. It means consigning our region to a devastating reality that if we are responsible members of the Pacific, we cannot and will not accept. Mr Speaker, this declaration is an acknowledgement of the next generation, yeah, yeah. an acknowledgement right. of the burden that they will carry if we do not get this right and if we do not take action now. As a government, we are also announcing the Carbon Neutral Government Programme that requires government organisations to be carbon neutral by 2025. Yeah. We must... Yeah. We must get our own house in order. How can we stand and take a leadership position amongst the private sector unless we take the same action that we expect of them. It will require government agencies to measure and reduce their emissions. And if they are unable to achieve carbon neutrality, they must offset.